Lodge 49, it's on AMC. You play a guy who's lost his father. It's set in Long Beach. You're a surfer who worked for your dad's pool supply company. You were bitten by a snake in South America. Your ankle doesn't work properly. You can't surf. You don't have any money. You and your twin sister are sort of really struggling with both reality and, and sort of some crises in the head from trauma and grief. And you stumble across a lodge, like a fraternal order of people that it, it, it becomes this whole story about trying to find yourself through this acceptance of these people. It's, it's as I'm doing this, I realize <laughs> I'm, I'm hard yeah, it is to Shake explore. your hand because that's the best I've ever heard anybody describe it. It's the, it's hard, it's the weirdest show on television. I say that with, with, as a great compliment. That is the weirdest show on television. And thank, thank you. You know, in a sense, you play this guy, Dud, who he doesn't know it, but he's on a vision quest. Yes. You yeah. Know? And and that that you, you described you're describing it perfectly because there's there's a whimsy to the to the whole story that is in our own lives sort of indescribable. You can't always put your finger on a moment, know why it happens, and then explain to everybody what just happened and why it happened, which is part of what there's a magic quality to the show that I think encompasses that. But the way I've described Dud is I think he's just the type of guy who walks through a door because the door's unlocked. Right. And then you're in the next room and you've got three doors and you wait around in the next room and if there's a door that looks interesting, you'll just walk through it. He doesn't ask too many questions. And there's a, there's a beauty in being that way. And there's also a naivete of being that way that's fun to watch and watch, watch him struggle with and struggle through. Why did that appeal to you? I was sent scripts of other television shows and I didn't want to play the same guy over and over again because it ends up becoming, you end up playing one thing. A lot of people had wanted me to do some more action-y, you know, straightforward stuff, maybe because of preconceived notions of Well, you're what, a tall, big guy. Yeah, yeah. played yeah. sports. Um, yeah. And I just didn't find it interesting uh, at the time because it was something I had done and they're, and they're usually one-dimensionally written. Sure. This was, when I read it, it was immediately my humor, um, and I wanted to meet the guy who wrote it, but it felt more like something that I could do for five years and not get tired of because the range of emotion is complete in absurdity to very grounded, very real, and, I, and it's a character who has to live in both, both worlds, and when you have to live in both worlds, you can go anywhere. So he could end up flying on a magic carpet over Egypt if right. he wanted it to, or being at someone's bedside while they're dying. And, and, and so that, that to me meant Dud can, can go anywhere, he can be anything, and uh, it wasn't gonna be constricting. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And, if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.